Okay, I've had my XDS for a couple of years now, and one of the things about the XDS that was kind of interesting that I liked, but then I kind of figured this might happen because XDS sends you replacement fiber optic uh, rods or plastics or whatever for the front fiber optic sight right here. And you can see that it actually fell out. It fell out of my of the front sight so I'm gonna try to replace it today with these and I figured I would just share how I was gonna do it with you guys I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick with orange because that was what was in it and I like I like the orange so the first thing I think I'm gonna try to do is um, take this I'm gonna take a lighter and I'm gonna melt a ball on the end of of this fiber optic I'm gonna keep the fiber optic pointing up so the heat will rise up so I don't I run less likely chance of melting the whole thing so I'm just gonna touch it and spin it just like that let it cool so after I heat the end of this and create this little ball at the end of this I'm gonna stick it in through the the back of the side or at least the portion of the site that we face push it all the way forward then I'm gonna take my razor blade and I'm gonna mark on the plastic where I need to cut it and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna heat up the front sight so it'll ball up again so I got this marked I'm gonna take my razor blade cut the fiber optic which I just did there we go like that and then you got leftover which is always good because I might have to do this again so I'm gonna take that guy push it through like that I'm gonna hold it I'm gonna keep tension on it with my finger and then I'm gonna heat this up just keep keep heating it up so that fiber optic will melt and pool. Don't go too crazy on it because you could end up screwing up the finish of your gun. So there we go. I replaced that sight. So that's how I replaced the front sight on my XDS. Hopefully it won't push through or poke out or anything like that. The main thing I really wanted to do, though, was um, make sure that I heated up the portion that was going to be facing me and make it sure it balled up nice and clean and like a clear, almost like a drop. And so it'll, it'll uh, you know, expand that, that bead for me so it'll be a lot brighter, which is cool. So, all right. That's it, guys. Take care. I appreciate you taking the time and watching my video. If you're interested, I have many others on my channel. And if you'd like to, hit that subscribe button to keep track on what's going on with High Desert Tactical. Also, hit a like or a dislike and let me know how I'm doing. And I'm also available on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+.